Okay, this is Dr. Krauss, and I'm trying to help my Mechatronic students install the Python control module in Windows, if you're a Windows user. Um, so you'll know you need to do this if you open up an IPython console and type import control, and it says it has no module named control, so it hasn't been installed. Um, there's basically two steps to this process. One, um, so you got to find the, the module to install it. It is out on the internet. Um, Hosted somewhere, I think it's on SourceForge. Anyways, um, go to Google and just search for Python Control, and you should come up with this link that is at Caltech.edu. Dr. Richard Murray is kind of behind this whole thing, and so here's a website that's already warns you that it's out of date. Um, and so you want to download this. And the trick is that your only download option is what's called a gzipped tarball. Um, tarring is sort of a, a pre-zipping thing that preserves the directory structure, and then gzip is a way that Mac and Linux people, Unix people, really know how to zip things. It's really easy. So it's .tar.gz. You download that, um, but the first problem you'll run into is that Windows isn't really that familiar with um, this particular form of zipping and such. And so save that somewhere and make sure you recognize or remember where you save it to because we need to be able to get to that folder. I've already downloaded it so I'm just going to cancel this, but you would just hit save. It would save the thing there. Now like I said, you need a way to unzip and untar this gzipped tarball. So the, the best software, in my opinion, in Windows to do this is called 7-Zip, the number 7-Z-I-P. It is open source and free and really can do any zipping you need done in Windows. So you go there and choose to download. I am 90% certain that if you're running Windows 7 or 8, you are you must be running 64-bit. You could Google that. I don't think they make a 32-bit Windows 7. So you would download the MSI file and um, save that somewhere and follow all of the defaults. I've already done all of that, but just get 7-Zip correctly installed. When you have 7-Zip correctly installed, browse to wherever you downloaded that um, code to. So I put it in Ryan slash temp. And so there's my gzipped tarball. If you have 7-zip correctly installed, when you right click on it, there should be a thing that says extract here. So let's choose that. That will create a folder called DIST, which is short for distribute, in your current folder. Go inside there. So you've unzipped the kind of outer layer, but you still have an inner layer that's the tarball part. And so right click on that. 7-zip extract here. And so that should create a folder called control-0.6d. If you go in there, ultimately when you're trying to install a Python package like this where you have to kind of manually do it, you're looking for a file called setup.py. And really all you got to do is type python setup.py install and this thing would work, but you got to be in the correct directory and you got to have the package unzipped. So come up to Windows Explorer and copy that address bar. And then your best move at this point is to launch the PowerShell, um, which for Windows 7 and above is installed by default. If you're not, I, I, yeah, none of you are running anything older than Windows 7, so I'm going to assume that you have PowerShell. And you type CD and right click and it'll take you to that directory. Now you have something that's, if you learn how to use the PowerShell, you could almost be, I, I would stop making fun of you for using Windows. And I'm sure that's very motivating for you. So ls will list the contents, and you see setup.py is there. And so all you gotta do at that point is type Python, setup.py, install, and I use tab completion, and this dot slash just means current directory, that's not really important, you don't have to type it. Python, setup.py, install, hit enter, And this may take a little bit. It's copying a bunch of stuff to some certain places. 
and it kind of acts like it works. You know that it works if you come back over to IPython, hit import control. Ooh, that did not go well. Come on now. It says it put it in the C colon anaconda lib site packages control with its dependencies. Okay, let's um, restart IPython and see if that fixes the problem. Okay, and I'm gonna. One, one thing you can do, if you're ever concerned about where's the package coming from, reload parentheses in the name of the package. It'll show you where it's loading it from. It says it load, loaded it from C colon anaconda lib site packages control, which corresponds to C colon lib site packages, which is where it said it was added. So that works. And then at that point, I should be able to, for example, create a transfer function. Um, let's say. Uh, just uh, one comma. Having some trouble typing here. One comma ten. So a first order transfer function, um, like so. And then if I said control dot step response. For my TF, hmm, by default that doesn't plot. I'm kind of making a bad example of myself here today. Okay, so it wants to return T and Y and does not want to automatically plot it for me. I think it I thought it would, but I was wrong. Here and cleared it and plotted t count y. There I've got a step response of my transfer function, like so. Okay, so like I said, Python setup.py install is the key. The trick is getting everything unzipped and then getting to that folder so that you can type that command in the PowerShell. So you go to, just for a quick review, the Windows Explorer find the folder that has the Python setup.py file, click up here, copy that, paste it over here, cd into that directory, and then you can type ls and see that, and it's also telling you what directory you're in, and that's the directory you want to be in, and you see this file, then Python setup.py install should do everything that you need it to do. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks.